It's a quote by Colin Cowherd from the herd saying, Europe's best young players are now the world's best young players. Their guys will have titles. American guys will have clout. Um, it's definitely an interesting take. And I think it's rooted in the fact that if you look at the top five players in the league right now, it's Embiid. Why did I start with Embiid? Hell, let me let me start over. Jesus Christ. They why stop, bro. Stop. Let me come on, bro. Serious hoops talks. Serious hoops talk. Come on, bro. Jokic, Giannis, Curry, Luca. MV, KD, Tatum. But long story short, a lot of the players in the top five are, are from overseas. You know, LeBron, LeBron. Is LeBron still top five? I don't know. Um, when you look at the number one pick overall this year, Victor Wimbanyama. When you look at just a, a lot of the best young talent in the league are coming from overseas, and it is more normal than ever. It is, it is definitely more normal than ever, you know. Um, but this take right here, what I don't definitely is it. It's not xenophobia, clearly, but like, what's the what's the opposite of? Xenophobia, I guess. I get. I don't know, bro. I, I just feel like a lot of this depends on situations. It just it just depends on situations that you're in. And like, the whole title shit. I don't even think it depends. That's not dependent on European basketball play versus American basketball play. At least in my opinion. Like, I've been watching the the Cooper Flag, that that dude Cooper Flag, bro, putting Maine on the map. <laughs> Maine, you know, you know how tough you gotta be to put Maine on the map, bro. Maine Maine barely counts in New England culture, let alone the the national basketball stratosphere, bro. You know what I'm saying? But. I just feel like this is such a random take. Like, I, it feels like I don't even have a take on it. Maybe it's just confirmation bias because of what we've been seeing over the last couple of years. I do find it interesting that these unicorn-type players, a lot of them do come from overseas. Um, so what about overseas play produces more um, unicorns than NBA uh, than current AAU and, and college hoops? Maybe that's the discussion to have. Um, and now that I'm kind of growing, uh, going in this rabbit hole, I can kind of, I can kind of see it. I can kind of see it now. I think um, within Europe, from my understanding, number one, you 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 get to play with grown men earlier than American hoops. And number two, regardless of where you go, ball movement. Um, Pacing, spacing, shooting, all of these things are emphasized at a very, very early age. F family values, Jesus Christ. Um, but in America, specifically when you go down the college route, like co like coaching schemes um, and coaching philosophies, they're very stubborn when it comes to changing that shit. The fact that Coach K was the coach of Duke, from 1970 to however long he coached, I think it's crazy. I think it's crazy. When you go into certain college programs, you're expected to play a certain type of way, and it might even hinder your growth as a basketball player because of the fact that you're in the system and you got to play this certain fucking way. But in college, I, th I think everything is just more free-flowing, uh, free you know? Um... Uh, not, did I say college? Uh, I'm talking about overseas play. Everything is just more free-flowing. Um, I think team basketball is more emphasized more um, than individual play. 
from my understanding, like uh, box scores are more spread out in 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 Europe, or not not Europe, but in, in foreign play than American hoops. It's not like I, I think in America. From my again, this is all just from my understanding. In American hoops, like it's very normal, uh, normal to have that one thirty point per game score. You might have a fifteen point per game score next, a twelve, and then everyone else is just seven, seven, six, four, three type shit. But in foreign play, specifically in the Euro League, it's more so like that number one dude has fifteen. That next dude is gonna have thirteen. That next dude is going to have 11. Dude after that is going to have 8. Dude after that is going to have 8 again. Dude after that is going to have 9. And that's the kind of dynamic over there. At least from what I've been seeing. Now, I'm not going to act like I'm the most knowledgeable on this topic. Um, but going back to the Colin Cowherd take. I see where he's coming from. I, I, I truly do. I truly do. I, I see where he's coming from. And I do think um, there is a difference in culture, just being an American and being overseas. We are ultra-capitalistic in, in, in American culture. Ult, ult, ultra-capitalistic. I talk to some people that say we, we don't even live in a capitalistic society anymore. Like, we live in um, neo-capital, like, just the, the thing above that. Like, we, we've surpassed capitalism in this country. Um, this country is very big on individualism. Now, it has its pros, but it also has its cons, you know? And in the grand scheme of things, the way you play basketball is honestly a pretty low con. But I, I honestly, look, just going down the rabbit hole, I do think there's some credibility to this take. I'm, I, I will say that. It's not, it's not the worst thing in the world, but let's see what the replies have to say. Also, yeah. Psst. If Tatum wins the ring, shut up, Colin. Shut the fuck up. Please. Let's see. You start playing professionally at like 15 in Europe. Probably a big reason why so many players from there are good early in the NBA. I will say this, though. Again, I, this is definitely not like I'm trying my best to not Tatum dick suck right now. But the NBA is really pushing Tatum, bro. I'm not going to lie. I think they understand that a big portion of their market is still in America. I think they understand that from a marketability standpoint, it is still easier to market an American based player because of the history. Because of the stories when it comes to American-based players versus overseas players. John Morant ain't looking too good right now. Zion ain't looking too good right now. KD, LeBron, all these dudes, Curry, they're getting old. And I think the NBA is dead-ass trying to make a push for Tatum to be that that next, at, at the very least, American guy next up. Like, for real, for real. I think he's he's flashy enough. He got the stats to back it up. You know what I'm saying? The the winning. He's he's winning. I, I ain't gonna lie, man. If there's, a, there's pure basketball reasons as to why the Celtics should give Jason Tatum a Supermax and just give him everything that he wants. But the league is pushing Tatum. The league is, they are pushing Tatum. I won't say that. I will say that. Oh, wow. <laughs> what the fuck? Yeah. It seems like uh, everything that I'm saying is right around the same lines. Uh, also, you seen that Jordan Walsh take, man? I think, I, think we gotta, I, think, I think the Celtics got a gem in Jordan Walsh, bro. I like that guy. I like that guy, man. If he can, I don't. I don't need him to be pull up. You know, Mister Pull Up Three. But if he can just be a ca very consistent catch and shoot, uh, three point shooter, play lockdown defense, which, from my understanding, is how, why we even drafted him in the first place. Yo, Jordan Walsh is looking good. Jordan Walsh is looking good. Devin Booker is another one as well. 